Our learning target for today is I can order numbers through 999,999 ,999 from least to greatest and greatest to least by comparing multiple numbers using comparing symbols. So today we're going to be focusing on putting numbers in order from either least to greatest or greatest to least. So we need to make sure that we pay close attention to the directions and we're going to use our comparison symbols and let's remember what those are, greater than, less than, and equal to. So we have two examples today. The first example, we're going to order numbers from greatest to least. And the second example, we're going to order numbers from least to greatest. So let's just focus on the first example. The directions here are very important. So make sure that we're putting them in order from greatest to least. So let's read our four numbers. We have 24,075. We have 2,750. We have 204,705. And we have 24,750. So one thing that jumps out to me is I see I only have one number that goes to the hundred thousands place. And that's this one right here. 204,000. I don't have any other number that has a digit in the hundred thousands place. So I know that this is the greatest number. So I'm going to go ahead and write that one first. And I'm going to put 204,700. 705, and I know that's greater than whatever number comes next. When I'm done with it, let's mark it out so we don't get confused. Now, I see that I have two numbers that reach the 10 thousandths place. I have 24,075 and I have 24,750. So I'm going to line these two numbers up to see if I can compare them a little easier. So I'm just going to rewrite this one right up underneath. So I have 24,750. So when I'm comparing, I have a two and a two in the ten thousandths place. That doesn't help me. Four and a four in the thousandths place. That still doesn't help me. A zero and a seven. Now that helps me decide which number is greater. Is a zero or a seven greater in the hundred, hundreds place? We know that the seven is greater. So we know this number is our next largest amount. So we have 204,705. That's greater than 24,750, which is going to be greater than our next number of 24,075. So now I only have one more number left, and that's going to be our smallest value of 2,750. So let's read this number sentence. 204,705 is greater than 24,750, which is greater than 24,075, which is greater than 2,750. So I have now ordered these four numbers from greatest to least using my comparison symbol. Let's look at the second example. This time we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna order it from least to greatest. Same process, but going the opposite direction. When I see here, I have 10,040, 10,400, 10,004, and 14,000. All of these numbers have the same amount of digits, and they all go to the 10 thousandths place. So like the first example, when they had different number of digits, I can't eliminate anything. So I'm going to look at each place one at a time to see if I can determine which number is the smallest. And remember, we're working from least to greatest this time. So let's start. In the ten thousandths place, I have a one, a one, a one, and a one. That does not help me at all. In the thousands place, I have a zero, a zero, a zero, and a four. Now I'm getting somewhere. I'm doing least to greatest, so I know that this number has to be greatest. So this number is going to come fourth in my order. 
and I'm just not even going to think about this one anymore because I already know this is the biggest number, so it's at the end. Now, I'm back to these three. It was zero, zero, and zero. So let's move on to the hundreds place. I've got a zero, a four, and a zero. Now, the greatest value here is a four. So I know that must be my next largest, so that's gonna come third. But I still don't know my smallest number yet, and that's the one I have to start with. But I have narrowed it down to these two. So, I had a zero and a zero in the hundreds place. That did not help me. Now I have a four and a zero in the tens place. Which one of these would be the smallest? Do you want a four in the tens place with a value of 40 or a zero in the tens place with a value of zero? So we know that this is our smallest number. 10,004. And we know it's gonna be less than our next smallest number of 10,040. We know that's gonna be less than our next smallest number of 10,400. Finally, that's gonna be less than our greatest number of 14,000. So we can read our number sentence together one more time. 10,004 is less than 10,040, is less than 10,400, is less than 14,000. Another strategy you could use is line up all these numbers vertically. 10,040, 10,400, 10,000, Four and 14,000. This may help you compare the places a little easier. So let's look at our learning target one more time for today. I can order numbers through 999,999 ,999 from least to greatest and greatest to least by comparing multiple numbers using comparison symbols. And we looked at greater than, less than, and equal to. Now you will try some on your own. If you need extra support, please watch the video again and stop and rewatch as needed. If you still need support, please reach out to your teacher.